to the actual facts tarot. I am Goddess Hatat Horare Tat, and this is a general love reading for my Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, and Venus. Leo, my love. Thank you for coming by and visiting me today. Now, don't you forget to hit that like, share, subscribe to my page, hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading more of your videos, love. Now, Leo, you have to excuse me for speaking so low, but it's after 3 a.m. And I just wanted to get your reading done, okay? <laughs> my love, uh, this reading is about um, your twin flame, twin soul, twin raye. Uh, who is uh, with you now behind closed doors <laughs> alright honey as you can see we got everything spread on out and I just want to go ahead and dive right on in okay now Leo what I see first column with the three of wands is that um, you have somebody who is knocking at your front door okay somebody who uh, has been watching you for quite some time and they've been quite devoted to that for with the seven of our pentacles they have been devoted to watching you and I need you to look at these cards because I'm reading the illustration honey okay now they've been watching you for quite some time circling you like these hyenas uh, have been circling this uh, little billy goat right here uh, they see you as a delicious meal okay and they just want to devour you honey okay now they also they standing at the front door also with the, uh, a chalice in their hand confessing to you that they want you to drink of this chalice okay that they love you now you can see this person you know you got the chalice in his hand and you can see the chalice Leo, but you also can see that they are looking at you like a hyena looks at its prey, okay? <laughs> and uh, with the look in their eye, you can see that they are completely undressing you with those eyes and they want to do all kind of nasty things. You could just see that right off the back, Leo. <laughs> now the second column this person is a cancer pisces scorpio then the king of uh the nasut of chalices here he's standing there with his chalice confessing to you and offering you to come over and talk to him about certain things that you've been going through leo okay because he knows that you've been in mental conflict trying to destroy the pain inside of your heart and your soul okay from somebody who has done the five of uh chalices and the um what is it, the eight of swords okay yeah on you okay so you're in mental conflict about somebody who has poured over your love and just stabbed you right in the heart and you just was in agony about it and they know this okay this cancer pisces scorpio know what you've been through okay now they want you to just come over and, and, and sit on their lap so, you know, you can go ahead and talk to them about this whole situation. And, you know, you decide to go ahead and do it, Leah. <laughs> okay. You decide to go ahead and do it. Third column, the four of pentacles. This person can see now that they got you since you once sat on their lap, right? <laughs> Since you went on their lap and unloaded, and you know, this is not something <laughs> actually that you did, you know, but just to talk to them about, you know, the things that they know that you're going through. Okay, now you can sit on their lap. You could literally be doing that or you could just be sitting there talking to them and drinking with them. Okay, but this person know that they got you now with the four of pentacles. Look at his face. <laughs> Since you decided to go ahead and unload, like I said, and now what they got, baby? Ooh, Leo, is that the sun? Well, I need you to, like I said, pay attention to these cards because they don't have on any clothes, okay? Oh, they're booty butt naked. 
<laughs> and they're very happy to be okay so this person is very happy to have you under their thrall at this point and as you are discussing the things that have hurt you and and the pain in the past the only thing this person wants to do is remove your clothes and lay you down on the floor uh the living room floor so the next thing you might know leo you know why you sit up there talking to them about all the hell that you have encountered next thing you're going to know is that you are on the floor uh <laughs> doing the nasty okay and now what you got going on baby got the ten of pentacles <laughs> Uh, Capricorn Virgo Taurus okay yeah the ten of pentacles so now uh this person while they are making all kind of passionate love to you on the living room floor on the living room couch uh, on the kitchen sink uh while they are doing all of that they're thinking of impregnating you Leo okay they're thinking of just having a baby with you a family with you because this person is in love with you Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, okay? They are in love with you, Leo. And they want you to be the mother of their child. Or they want you to be the father of their child, okay? So, ooh, my darling, <laughs> Leo, what in the... Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Look, I got to tag on love oracle cards out here. And um, let me go ahead and show you what the heck I am pulled from you with your, with your freak itself. These cards. Boom. The clock right here. Oh, like I said. Like I said, Leo. This person know that you need time. It takes time. And time cycles time to heal. Okay? They know that. And they also are telling you that they've been watching you for some time, baby. Okay? So, this person that got you on the daggone living room floor, the dining room table, is sitting there, uh has been watching you for quite some time okay probably been stalking you and everything else knowing your every move Ooh, boat okay now this boat is saying uh receive what you need they feel that this is what you need this king of uh this nasuda of chalices feel this is what you need and that's the reason why they uh arrived on the scene they know that you need to close you have closer issues with people or an ex from the past that got you in this energy the eight of uh swords and the five of chalices okay so they they're going to help you move on leo they're going to help you move on this person cut out is a soulmate <laughs> yeah soulmate soul connection partnership agreement soul contract okay so this person is a, a soul mate a soul mate a twin flame you may actually have been hurt by a twin flame okay and now the universe has given you this whole soulmate thing so that you can be happy again leo you can become leo again because the sun card is leo okay the happiest card in the deck and when you were hurt by this person from your past who could have also been a, a cancer pisces scorpio or another leo like you an aries or sagittarius okay this person uh had you real hurt okay and you know they may have been your twin flame okay so like i said the universe wants you to heal from that so it sends you a soulmate someone who is very easy to get along with someone who's very easy to talk to as you can see that he uh is gesturing you to talk to him the male ruler of uh, chalices okay now inside of this male ruler of chalices is a lot of emotions a lot of emotions that they have for you they feel a lot for you okay Leo and it's like um, yeah it's like 
You didn't even know any of this. Only thing you know is that they at your front door right now looking at you like, yeah, they ready to uh, get it on. And uh, you're still kind of hurt and heartbroken from the past. <laughs> well, baby, that's not going to last, okay? <laughs> that ain't going to last, Leo. Now, here I got the daggone um, Sacred Destiny cards, okay? Sacred Destiny Oracle cards. And I shuffled uh, about a a hundred times and I got you the healing chaos interesting wow you know I just shuffle and put the cards to the side and then you know just pull them out again <laughs> you know but these cards are, are off the daggone hook I'm trying to get to the daggone ah ah okay here we go <laughs> healing chaos because they don't have no number on them there uh alphabetically um ordered this is an awesome book here we go what it says leo the sacred landscape wants you to know when you receive this card it acknowledges potential chaos for or the need for chaos mm. as an activator for profound hitting hmm. if your life seems chaotic know that it has an underlying energy of healing. <clears throat> you are being healed on all levels. Yes, you are a healer. Altern alternatively, <laughs> alternatively, <laughs> I hate these words. Okay, if your <laughs> if your life is come to the point of being stagnant. Uh, this card uh, suggests that it might be time to create a bit of chaos in your life. It will activate healing. Do the unexpected. Mix up life a bit. Okay. <clears throat> I hate those words, the tively words, you know. Why can't you say alternate? It can be alternatively. <laughs> I just can't do that. I can't do it. I don't know why. I don't know what that is but anyway uh it makes me laugh anyway um so yeah my darling you know uh this is what this whole thing is about the healing they you know the universe wants you to heal on all levels okay so now they're bringing you healing chaos because if you're in mental conflict about the heartache that happened to you in the daggone past okay then you need to heal from that okay let's put that on the five of chalices someone who poured out your love and hurt you and stabbed you in the heart and the soul and tried to kill you with it okay well leo you're making a comeback baby you're making a comeback baby <laughs> All right, Leo, you know, because as, as beautiful as you are, Leo, as beautiful as your heart is and as devoted as you be to a person, there ain't no way in the world they should have done this to you. They should have just poured out your love like that. If they were not interested, then they should have said that they were not interested instead of, you know, leading you on to even give them your love like that and so that they could just take it and pour it out. You feel me? That's just some bull, and I ain't just ain't got time for it. And I don't want to even go that route in this reading because I want this reading to be uh, very hot. As you can see, I got the red candle lit. <laughs> Leo, I'm going to end on that, baby. I love you, Leo. Okay, I love you, honey. Peace, love, and light, baby. Bye-bye.